Hi, my name is Steve Takushin. I'm a senior project manager with Watchdog Real Estate Project Management. Uh, I'm here today to provide three window systems commonly used in commercial construction. Uh, the first is a storefront window system. The second is a window wall system. And the third is a curtain wall system. And oftentimes, uh, we'll be in a design or project meeting and some of these terms and, and types of systems are, are used interchangeably. And uh, I, I think it's important to, to understand really what the, the basic differences are with the systems. Starting out with the storefront. The storefront is, is the most economical of the three. Uh, it is a field fabricated system and it has its limitations. It can only go up to 10 foot high and it can only be installed on the bottom three floors of a building. Uh, and that has to do with the, um, the wind load that is uh, presented onto the system. The storefronts are built from the floor slab up to a, um, a header or a uh, soffit that receives uh, the top uh, of the storefront. And the, the storefront is, is really supported around the perimeter uh, of its system. Uh, the second type of system is a window wall system. Um, it also uh, goes from floor to bottom side of a structure. Uh, most typically goes from uh, top of floor to bottom side of, of, the, of the floor above. Um, with that, it also it has a little bit of a higher um, limit on its height. It can go, range up to about 14 feet. Um, and it's also mo more moderately priced. So it's, it falls in between storefront and curtain wall. So the third system that I want to speak to you about is the curtain wall system. Um, curtain wall systems can be field fabricated, and we, they're field fabricated, we call that stick built, or they can be factory assembled, and we call that a unitized system. Uh, curtain wall are, are actually supported by the structure uh, and sit on the structure. Uh, so unlike the storefront and the window wall where uh, those systems are placed inboard and go from floor to floor or floor to, to header, uh, curtain walls actually sit outboard of the uh, slab edge and, like I said, hang on the structure itself. Um, with that, the curtain wall doesn't have a limitation on its height as long as there's a structure behind it to support it. So, again, this is, this is more of a system that you'll see on some of the mid or high rise uh, buildings in the Philadelphia and, and surrounding areas. Also, unlike the, curtain, uh, the storefront and the window wall, Curtain walls typically have to be installed in a sequential manner um, due to the nature of it butting up to an adjacent panel or stacking on top of the panel below it. Um, so uh, you'll, you'll see curtain walls will be the most expensive of the three systems and typically they're, they're usually the most attractive of the three systems. Again, this is Steve from Watchdog and I look forward to the next episode.